the Big Bang, the birth of the universe, and discovered using the same ideas DJs use to match beats. Now, beat matching, for all you head steamers not fully immersed in club culture, is all about synchronizing the beats of two songs so that when you mix them together, it doesn't sound like a load of pots and pans coming out your kitchen cupboard. To do this, a DJ adjusts the tempo of the next track to match whatever's going out on the dance floor. But speeding up or slowing down a song affects how it sounds. Sound is a wave, meaning it's made up of oscillations, and the pitch or musical note of the sound is related to its frequency, the number of those oscillations per second. High frequency is high pitch, low frequency, low pitch. But changing the tempo of a song will change the frequency of all the things in it. But there's another way to change the apparent frequency of a sound. And that's through motion. If something making a load of noise is coming towards you, then all those waves will be squashed together and you'll hear a higher pitch. On the other hand, if it's moving away, they'll be more spread out and you'll hear a lower pitch. This is the Doppler effect, and it doesn't just apply to sound. It also counts for light, where frequency corresponds to color rather than pitch. This is the spectrum of visible light from the sun. All the colors of the rainbow, plus a load of black lines. They correspond to the frequencies hydrogen can absorb to change energy levels. So the hydrogen in the sun has absorbed these frequencies and therefore there's no light, i.e. black. Now, the spectrums from other stars are the same. They have the same pattern of black lines, except they're in a slightly different place. They're shifted to the red. This is the Doppler effect again, and it means those stars are moving away from us. In fact, they're all moving away from us. Scientists worked out how fast by matching up the black lines of distant galaxies to our sun. And it turns out the further away they are, the faster they're going. The only way to explain this is if space itself is expanding. And so playing the tape backwards means the universe must have started as a single point. So by beat matching the black lines of distant galaxies to the suns, they discovered the Big Bang. But it's not just finding out the speeds of distant galaxies that this is useful for. People use the same techniques to work out blood flow in an echocardiogram, how fast submarines are going using sonar, and unfortunately, to work out whether you're breaking the speed limit in your car. Make sure you're subscribed to Headsteam because coming up, I'll have a video on how your smartphone knows which way is up.